In the 10 months since it launched the Nexus 6P, China's Huawei has put out some seriously impressive metal gadgets, usually with predictably high price tags. But as we close out the year, it's time for the company to make its best build quality more attainable. And so ahead of the IFA show in Berlin, we stop by London to get an early peek at Huawei's two new phones. I'm Alex with Android Central and this is your first look at the Huawei Nova and Nova Plus. With a new brand name comes a new approach to mid-range phones for Huawei, with a focus on sleek aluminium frames, big batteries, and, just like at the high end, a choice of two screen sizes. The design of the regular Huawei Nova borrows heavily from the Nexus 6P, with chamfered edges, a subtly curved back, and a neat camera visor that also subtly tapers towards the sides. Thankfully, it's a far more manageable size than its Google-branded cousin, with a 5-inch 1080p display and a thickness of just under 7mm. Despite that svelte frame, Huawei's packed in a 3020 mAh battery, which combined with the new and efficient Snapdragon 625 processor should be good for two days per charge according to the company's own numbers. And despite some external differences, both the Nova and Nova Plus share the same core specs, that new Snapdragon 625 chip, 3GB of RAM and 32GB of base storage, plus microSD support through Huawei's hybrid slot, which can take either two SIMs or one SIM and an SD card. USB-C is along for the ride as well, always nice to see in a mid-ranger, and Huawei's excellent fingerprint scanner tech makes a welcome return in both models. One of the major differences between the two, aside from the size, is the camera setup. The Nova has a 12 megapixel shooter with 1.25 micron pixels, that's about the same as the Huawei P9 on paper, though without the secondary monochrome sensor for detail enhancement. Most mid-level phones still use pixels around the 1.1 micron mark, so with any luck the Nova should do better than these in the dark. The step up to Nova Plus bumps the camera to a 16 megapixel sensor with optical image stabilization, which again should help you out in low light conditions. The Plus also gets you a larger 5.5 inch screen, still at 1080p, and a bigger 3340 mAh cell. You do have to stump for a more generic looking design though, as the Nova Plus's small camera bump means you lose the stylish glass band up top. Still, it's an attractive phone all the same, looking a little bit like a shrunken down Huawei Mate 8. The displays themselves are pretty decent looking, not as outstanding and vibrant as the P9's IPS Neo panel, still, for phones that aren't the very highest of the high end, they're perfectly good. And Huawei's been working to make its displays more usable in the dark as well, with a minimum brightness level of just 4 nits. When it comes to software, you're on the same track as Huawei's high end devices, with Android 6.0 Marshmallow and EMUI 4.1. As we've said many times before, the latest version of Huawei's software fixes a lot of the things that were either annoying or straight up broken in previous versions. Though, it remains a highly customized variant of Android with an iOS style lock screen and notification setup. There are tons of useful little features to discover if you go looking, and EMUI is pretty good about keeping apps in check to safeguard battery life. That said, you'll probably have to manually tweak things to keep background apps working as expected. Overall, it's kind of crazy to think that this is what a mid-range phone looks like these days. The Huawei Nova series isn't built as a flagship line of phones, but they do have the potential to exceed expectations in camera and battery performance. We'll be sure to put both to the test in our full review. But the main takeaway here is how premium design no longer has to demand a premium price. Although I've only spent a short amount of time with the Nova series so far, I'm impressed. These metal-bodied beasts wouldn't look out of place in the 4 to 500 euro price point. And the internals are solid too, it's just a shame that we have to wait a little longer for the anticipated EMUI 5 upgrade, based on Android Nougat, that looks set to give Huawei software a much needed overhaul. In the meantime though, that's going to wrap up our first look at the Huawei Nova and Nova Plus. For more on these two phones, check out our write-up on androidcentral.com.